Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video, Guiding Light here. And as you guys can tell, the Festival of the Lost has officially gone underway today. Now that the masks can be collected again, I figured today I would let you guys know how you can go about unlocking all of the masks while the Festival of the Lost is here. That way you can keep them throughout the year. It's quite simple and you shouldn't have too much of a trouble getting this done. So when you first get on to Destiny for the Festival of the Lost, you will want to head to the tower and pick up a few quests. You're going to need to go trick-or-treating around to all the vendors. Now once you've completed that, you will finally head back to Eva Levante, who will give you another quest. Also be sure to head to the Iron Temple, as there are more quests to be completed in there. This time you're going to have to go out and actually do some things in the Crucible and in the Plague Lands while wearing specific masks. Now before you go into the Get the Mask, you, will, you do also want to pick up an empty candy satchel. Now what this is going to do is it's going to make it so that every time you get a kill, a little bit of candy will go into your satchel. Now once your satchel is filled, you can purchase masks from Eva Levante, like the Speaker Mask and the Cryptarch Mask as well. You're going to need those throughout the quest line. So just fill up that candy satchel and head to her to purchase those masks. That way you can complete the quest and that way you are on track to getting all of the masks. Once I was done, I had the Skolas Mask, the Fox Mask, the Speaker Mask, the Cryptarch Mask, the Traveler Mask, and the Oryx Mask. So I was able to collect six masks pretty simply. It only really took me about an hour and a half to complete those two quests. And then I, I already had six more masks unlocked. So if you run those two quest lines on both of your characters, you should have a pretty easy time collecting masks. So if you take a look in Eva Levante's inventory, she is also selling masks for... And all you really have to do is fill up your candy satchel in order to purchase those. Now if you take a look at the bottom, there's 15 hours until the stock does refresh, so tomorrow. And throughout the duration of the Festival of the Lost, we will see some new masks in that shop. And all you have to do in order to purchase those is just keep filling up your candy satchel, which like I said before, only takes about 15 minutes in the Crucible or in the Plague Lands. Now, once you've completed the two quest lines on one of your characters and gone out and completed uh, your satchel a few more times, you should pretty much have all the masks that you can unlock today, as far as that you can purchase from the shop. Now, if you do want to unlock some more masks pretty easily or get some more Festival of the Lost treasures, all you have to do is swap characters and run the two quest lines again. Now it is a little bit of a grind, but it is definitely worth it once you do complete those quests again, as you will be getting Festival of the Lost Treasures, which give you pretty exclusive items, consumables, and you do also have a chance at getting that Burning Fox Mask as well, without having to pay real money for silver, and it's pretty awesome if you just end up running the quest three times, and then that way you can unlock all the masks as well. So, so long as you just complete those two quests on all three of your characters, and then fill up your empty candy satchel in order to purchase those masks, you should be able to unlock all the masks before the Festival of the Lost is over, and you should be allowed to keep those in your kiosk. I do know it will take up quite a lot of vault space, but for me, I'm definitely going to be grinding out these masks. I'm about to get on my second character now and get those quests done, and get some more treasures of the Lost, hopefully to get that Burning Fox mask as well. So hopefully this guide does help you guys out, and hopefully you guys are enjoying Festival of the Lost as well. I definitely am having a pretty good time. I definitely am having a pretty fun time trying to unlock all these masks, and hopefully you guys are too. So if you enjoyed, be sure to drop a like down below, and subscribe for future Destiny videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.